Okay, here's a walkthrough video of this uh, lovely Haynes 320 called Stargazer. She is a 2007 build with a Nani 4330 115 horsepower diesel engine on single shaft. So access on board is either via the side railings uh, on both sides. Uh, being an aft cabbing boat, you've also got a uh, step ladder to the back with a walkthrough uh, partition uh, at the uh, back of the cockpit there. So side access up the uh, boat is good. We can quite easily walk around to the back of the boat here. Uh, this brings us to the helm position. Cockpit area here has good seating at the back uh, with a removable middle seat uh, so that you can uh, uh, exit the boat uh, from the bathing platform. There's a table and uh, both the chairs which are very comfortable for the helm and navigator seat. The other uh, design feature on the Haynes 320 is the fact that the screen here is actually uh, gas rammed. You can see the uh, gas rams here. These two side panels are uh, removable and you can then lift and slide the entire screen as a whole uh, backwards if you're looking to uh, uh, get under uh, some bridges. So that brings the air draft of the boat down uh, quite considerably. Composition is nice and clutter free, so you've got all of the switch panel long here plus engine gauge and instrumentation. Uh, there's a Raymarine uh, log and uh, depth just up there, bow thruster control, and hydraulic steering. Anyway, leads down to the main saloon, and you've got five steps here which uh, we'll go down now and explore on board. So, main saloon. Uh, opens out, it's very light and airy. You have seating area around to the starboard side with table. Uh, that also pulls out so you can have a, a double berth makeup here. There's additional seating around to the port side plus stowage and uh, your heating control. Uh, it's diesel warm air on this boat. Uh, Ebis Basher with a timer and uh, thermostat. The other thing we have in the main saloon is obviously the inspection panel there uh, for access to the engine. Uh, these are a nice uh, trimmed uh, engine uh, cover so that can just easily be lifted up uh, to give us access. Steps forward brings us down to the galley area. In here we have isotherm 12 volt fridge, we have SMEV oven and also a Smev 3 burner hob. Double stainless sink with the covers, water pump, and plenty of storage with uh, cupboards and also rails over the far side, and a couple of overhead storage lockers in here also. To the port side, we've got the toilet and shower uh, also with a heated tail rail on this model holding tank indicator and manual flush toilet the forward cabin uh, gives us a V berth with stowage hanging locker to the starboard side and also another one to the port side plus uh, additional uh, heating control uh, in the forward cabin so that you can switch the heating on uh, from this end. Moving afterwards, this brings us down to the back cabin. We've got lovely size uh, double bed here. Uh, very good size berth this, um, especially if you're a bit taller. A couple of drawer storage underneath. And Round behind the door, an additional good size hanging locker and dresser unit with mirror. 
The other thing we've got in the aft cabin here is the ensuite. So the ensuite on this boat, uh, the rear toilet is uh, electric. Again, heated towel rail, shower unit and sink, plus some additional storage. While we're uh, here in the saloon, we'll just have a look at the engine. So this is the main engine compartment. Again, very accessible uh, for the weed filter and uh, oil uh, checks. Uh, this is 115 horsepower Nani, and I believe it's a 4.33 hour engine. You can see it's a lovely light airy saloon here, uh, made possible by these large opening windows, plus also the large skylight in here. So there's a real feel of space on the 320. Uh, the boat's um, uh, for sale and lying on site here at NYA Horning. Uh, if you'd like to make an appointment to view, please give us a call. Uh, we'd be glad to show you over here.